Today's tutorial, I'm gonna save you time, money, and a whole lot of design frustration because I'm walking you through how to use ChatGPT's powerful image generator for creating product mockups and branded content that actually looks good. And whether you're launching a new product, building brand identity, or you just wanna level up your visuals for social media or your website, this tutorial will walk you through everything step by step. But first, if you're building a brand, you need a solid email marketing strategy to go with all those visuals. Well, that's where OmniSend Email Marketing comes in. An all-in-one email and SMS marketing platform built specifically for e-commerce brands and content creators. OmniSend makes it super easy to grow your list, send automated email campaigns, and boost sales without the learning curve. You can create beautiful emails in minutes using their drag and drop builder, set up welcome series, cart abandonment flows, and even segment your audience for more targeted messaging. Plus, OmniSend integrates seamlessly with platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, and BigCommerce, so your emails are always relevant and timely. And the best part, you can get started for free and only upgrade whenever you're ready to scale. So try OmniSend today by using the link in the video description below or the QR code on the screen and watch your brand grow with powerful email automation. All right, now that your email game is covered, let's dive into the visual side. I'm gonna show you how to use ChatGPT's new image generator to create eye-catching product mockups, match your brand aesthetic, and even export visuals that you could use across your site and marketing materials. So on that note, let's get started. Whether you're working on product promotions, branded apparel, or digital previews, this feature makes it incredibly easy to visualize your assets in action. I'll walk you through the exact steps I use to turn my Blog Within logo into a professional looking t-shirt mockup. And to follow along, you'll need a ChatGPT Plus subscription and access to GPT 4.0. That's the latest and most advanced model from OpenAI, which includes multimodal capabilities like image generation and editing. And you can confirm you're using GPT 4.0 by looking at the model selector in the top left corner of your screen. Then once you've confirmed that you're in GPT 4.0, start by uploading your logo or brand asset. And to do this, simply click the plus icon on the left side of the prompt box, and then you'll have a few options on how you wanna upload your image. You can connect to Google Drive, connect to Microsoft OneDrive, or upload from your computer. And I'll upload from my computer, so I'll select that option. And this opens a file browser where you can select the image that you wanna work with. And in my case, I'm using my Blog With Bin logo that I have saved as a JPEG file. Then once you choose your file, it'll appear as a small thumbnail next to your prompt field. Next, it's time to enter your prompt. And this is where you describe what you want the AI to generate using your uploaded image. For this demo, I entered the prompt, create a mockup using this logo on a man wearing a black t-shirt. Don't show his face. And when writing your prompt, be as specific as possible. Include details like the clothing color, the subject, and any preferences that you have for how the image is framed. And since I don't want the model's face to appear in the image, I made sure to call that out directly in the prompt. Bottom line, simple, clear, and descriptive language works best. Okay, after you've entered your prompt, you could either click enter on your keyboard or click that arrow icon towards the bottom right corner and that will send the prompt to ChatGPT where it starts its processing phase. And you'll see a placeholder image with the spinning icon that indicates the AI is working on your request. And this usually takes a few seconds and you'll notice that the placeholder transition goes through different phases like getting started and adding details as the image is rendered. And for the sake of time, I'm gonna fast forward really quick, but this really took only about 30 seconds to finish. And when the final image appears, you'll see a clean mock-up of your design. And in this case, it's a man in a black t-shirt with the Blog Within logo front and center. And I have to say that I'm really impressed with this image. Not only does the mock-up look real and professional, but the logo even has some subtle curvature to it to make it look like it aligns properly with our model's chest and the wrinkles on the shirt. That's pretty impressive. Then if you hover your mouse over the image, you'll see a few icons. The one that looks like an arrow pointing down, that will let you download the image to your device. And then in the lower right corner, you can use those thumbs up or thumbs down icons to rate the image. These controls make it easy to manage your generated content and quickly save the assets that you like most. Okay, once the image is generated, you can click on it to open a larger version and access additional editing tools. 
This full screen view gives you a better look at the details and layout, making it easier to plan your next creative changes. At the top right corner of the expanded view, you'll find a toolbar with several icons. These include options to like or dislike the image again, download it, or use the built-in image editor, which we'll do in just a second. Then just below the image, there's a prompt field that lets you refine or alter the image using natural language. You can type in exactly what you'd like to modify, whether that's adding, removing, or replacing specific elements in the image. This field also becomes active when you start using the selection tool, which is what we'll focus on next. So the selection tool allows you to isolate a specific area of the image that you wanna edit. And to use it, click the wand icon in the toolbar there in the upper right corner. Then with your mouse, click and drag over the area that you wanna modify. And for this example, I selected the model's left forearm, which is currently bare, but after selecting the area, you'll see that it's highlighted with the blue, and that means that that area is selected to make our edit. And then in the text field, type in the prompt of what you wanna change. And for this example, we're just going to say, add a black watch. Then either click enter on your keyboard or click that arrow icon to send the prompt through. And ChatGPT will go through its processing phase again to render the change. And just like before, ChatGPT displayed a short loading message while updating the image. And again, this took about 30 seconds to complete, but for the sake of time, let me fast forward really quick. And when the refresh is complete, the black watch was added seamlessly to the subject's wrist, blending naturally with the rest of the mock-up. This quick edit shows how powerful and precise the image editor can be. This is perfect for marketers, designers, or creators who wanna iterate on their visuals without needing complex software or hiring a designer. I hate to say it, but it's kind of the truth. Okay, one of the great things about using image generation in ChatGPT is that everything happens within a single conversation thread. This means your uploads, prompts, generated images, and edits are all saved in one place. This is super helpful when you wanna review the exact phrasing you used for your prompts or revisit any of your previous images. It keeps the whole creative process organized and easy to manage here in one thread. Okay, now that we've created a wearable mockup using the Blog Within logo, let's try something different a branded product mockup. This time, I prompted ChatGPT to create a mockup using the same Blog With Ben logo on a white coffee mug. And just like before, the prompt is short and specific, describing both the object and the colors to make sure the logo would stand out clearly. And then after I submitted the prompt, ChatGPT moved into that familiar processing phase. You'll see a placeholder image with a light blur as the image is being generated, followed by a final high quality render. And again, I'm gonna fast forward through this really quick. And sure enough, the result is clean. We get this realistic mock-up of a white ceramic coffee mug with the Blog With Ben logo printed right on the front. It's a perfect fit for the merch, promotional material, or social media previews. And this convenience and quality of this feature makes it a fast and accessible option for creators looking to build out their brand visuals quickly. Okay, so with this image, I wanna take it a step further and add a subtle detail to it some steam rising from the coffee mug. So to do that, we'll use the select tool again. So click the wand icon in the toolbar in the upper right corner of the screen. And then we'll paint over the top portion of the mug to select the area where I want the steam to appear. And then once the selection is in place, let's enter the prompt. And this is gonna be add steam rising from the coffee mug, simple enough. And then we'll send that through to ChatGPT. And this time I ran into a snag and I'm glad this happened. So instead of generating the updated image, ChatGPT let me know that I had reached the image generation limit. This is a temporary cooldown that occasionally appears after creating multiple images in a short period of time. And in my case, I had to wait about 21 minutes before I could generate more content. It's not a deal breaker by any means, it's just something to be aware of as you work through larger projects or batches of visuals. And I'm sure that over time this issue won't even come up but as of now this feature is pretty new I'm sure a ton of people are using it so this is kind of expected but once the cooldown ends I'll be able to pick up right where I left off and finish adding the steam effect so let me fast forward 21 minutes and we're back 21 minutes have gone by and the cooldown period is over and I'm able to pick up right where I left off. So I'm gonna type the following message, just asking ChatGPT to try adding steam to the coffee mug again. 
And since all previous context was still saved in the conversation, there was no need to re-upload the image or reselect the area. The continuity in the chat experience made this super easy. So I just entered my quick message and we're back in action. All right, once I submitted the prompt, the image entered the processing phase again. And just like before, we get the blurred placeholder appearing over the image, letting us know that the AI is doing its magic. And then after a few seconds, we get the final result. And this time, with gentle, realistic steam rising from the mug. The subtle swirls of vapor, you can see them there, they're added just the right finishing touch to the scene, and it looks like a professional product photo that you might see on an e-commerce site. I love it. And I know I'm going on and on about this, but I've used a lot of AI generators in the past, and what really stands out here is how detailed and polished the final image looks. The logo placement is sharp and in line with the curvature of the mug, that is huge. The lighting is consistent and the steam effect blends naturally into the environment. This kind of design work would normally require some advanced Photoshop skills, something that I don't have, but with ChatGPT, it took just a few clicks and a well-worded prompt, and we get this great image. It's a huge time saver for creators like me who want quality visuals without needing to outsource or spend hours learning design software. And this is only the beginning. The image generation tool inside ChatGPT opens up a world of possibilities. You can mock up your brand on t-shirts, mugs, notebooks, signs, social media graphics, website headers, infographics, and so much more. And for bloggers and digital creators, this means you can phototype new merch, enhance your blog visuals, create thumbnails, or even plan your brand's aesthetic all without leaving this chat. And whether you're running a solo blog or managing a larger digital brand, this tool gives you the power to bring your ideas to life visually in a matter of seconds. So that's gonna do it for this video. If you found it helpful, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Blog With Ben YouTube channel. Also, if you're looking to start a blog, check out these two videos on how to build, grow, and monetize a WordPress blog. They'll walk you through the entire process step by step. And as always, your support means a great deal to me and my family, and for that, I thank you. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video, and thanks for watching.